Johnny Nansen, this was maybe three weeks ago, was talking about you, Kanai, Paunoa, Paliye, how you guys are film junkies together. But can you just talk about how, how that developed on how you guys kind of got together and are watching film? Like, well, uh, well I mean, are you part of that group? Yeah, yeah. But I would say that I think we all just understand how much it takes in order for us to be fully capable of playing without thinking on the field. Okay. I think we know that. And that's when, you know, we started getting together. And then on top of that, we started seeing each other like, oh, you in here as much as I'm in here. Why don't we just do it, you know, do okay. it together. So, so I think we're, us four are all people that just see from the same window and we all see that tunnel, we all have that tunnel vision. And even okay. though right now this year hasn't been the best year, we see that there's, there's definitely potential. You guys have an exceptionally talented young football team on defense and on, and on offense. Yeah. Um, what are some of the, so, and you guys watching film together, that kind of all started up like when you first got here? Yeah. And and how, how what do you think the benefits from that have been being able to, that extra time? Because Johnny was talking about how it's like he has to ask you guys, you go to class. He was yeah. kidding. But. Yeah. Well, me, me, EA, me and EA got here in the summer. And honestly, it's, it's, it's when you transfer, it's when you transfer how to study film yeah. and how to actually put those actions onto the field, mm -hmm. I think that's the part that we have been have been improving in. Because okay. it's a difference between just watching film, but when you actually watch film and actually see different ways that you can you can make that play, mm -hmm. that's when you're able to actually go on the field and, and and do it. As a football player, where have you grown since you got here? Um I would say I would say I've grown with my technique as far as as far as using my hands and and having the right timing and um, just knowing certain personnel because after you study you start to realize which lineman likes to lean and which lineman is on his heels so you start to figure out certain characteristics of these linemen yes. and me playing my me playing my old lineman dang near every play yeah. I'm starting to actually get a feel for myself and at the beginning it was a little difficult but after a couple weeks around, I would say Texas, Washington State, yeah, that's when it started to become comfortable. I knew this was this is my game. I knew it was the thing that I just fully loved doing, and yeah, that's that's what I mostly improved on my confidence and in my um in my technique. So you guys are going through some some rough time, but record wise and stuff like that, some tough losses. But the excitement level over the talent you guys have, I mean, is that something that you guys do talk about? We just need to keep working hard because the future is, you guys have to be excited about that. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think it's necessarily the talent. Okay. I think it's the work ethic. There you go. It's the work ethic. I think that people believe in us and we believe in ourselves as strong as they do. And that's why we, we dedicate so much of our time into this. And you can, you can see it. Like if you're just walking, walking around in a locker room, you're going to see one of one of us. Yeah. You're going to see one of us in there getting some extra work in, or or you're going to see one of us in the lab because our work ethic is like I honestly can't explain it. I, I look at other guys and I see them getting extra work in, and that encourages me to be the best player. I could be go sure. go and get some more reps in. You know. Hey man, thanks a lot. Appreciate your time. Yeah.